Welcome once again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 18, right through to the end of the chapter, verse 23. Become a fool that you may become wise. Paul writes, let no one deceive himself. Can you imagine how stupid that would be? I mean, it's one thing to deceive someone else. It's one thing to, you know, to lie to someone else. But it's another thing to lie to yourself and deceive yourself, to actually lie to yourself and believe it. And, you know, there are a lot of people that do that these days. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone thinks that he is wise among you in this world, let him become a fool. Now, notice here, this is talking about wisdom according to this world. Let him become a fool according to this world, that he may become wise, obviously wise in the eyes of God. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he has taken the wise in their craftiness. That is found in Job chapter 5, verse 13. And again, quote, the Lord knows the reasoning of the wise, that it is worthless. Psalm 94, verse 11. Therefore, let no one boast in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas, Cephas being Peter here, or the world, or life, or death, or things present, or things to come, all are yours, and you are Christ's, and Christ is God's. Indeed, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. It's truly foolishness. But the wisdom of God is foolishness in the eyes of the world because they don't understand it. So it's important to humble yourself. Humble yourself so that God will raise you up. And as always, seek God with all, all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. How do you seek God? You read the scriptures as much as possible. You pray that you are able to understand it and that you have the wisdom to actually do it. If you seek God with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.